Hello, Dr. Ron England here, and this is part two of the menu example. Um, in part one, you actually saw us create this uh, menu example with the menu, menu groups, and menu items, and actually get a uh, project up and running where you could do all the CRUD um, things on, on all of that. But now we're going to go one step further. I'd actually like to create a menu where you actually take the menu itself and display the menu items in, in a customized fashion. Well, you know, I, I like to do this with as little code as I can. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to, and I know if I have all of the elements in the menu model, I'm going to be able to do this. So let's first look at the menu model. The menu model contains the name, the description, the menu items, and the menu groups. It actually has all that. So if I am able to um, bring all that up, in a view I should and have access to it I should be able to create a menu itself so let's just do a simplified version of this so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the menu controller the menus controller here and um, the menus controller that I created using the scaffolding has um, create delete details edit and index it's got those five things there well I know that if I take the action the um, the action result that goes with details that the return that I need to be able to show a menu would be exactly the same thing. So in other words, the details brings up the view on the menu. So a if I do the same piece of code there, I should be able to get um, everything I need to do to make a menu. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to take the code for details and I'm going to inside of the menus controller and I'm just going to copy and paste it directly to itself. Now of course that's going to cause a problem because details is well you know what it's not really it's got well one it's in here twice so you can't have that so let's just call this um, I'm going to call this view menu um, I could just call it view um, or something like that but the, but view menu is fine and what it's going to do is the same thing that a details does it's going to look um, for the user requesting it, and it's going to return back the view of, on the menu. Okay, so we can save that, and let's move over. Now I've, now that I've actually added something in the controller to respond to the user request that will return the view, well, I kind of need the view. So um, now to save a little bit of time, I actually created the view. I'll just tell you what I did. I come down here to Menus, and I took the details that was the view that was already there, and I copied and pasted it and renamed it View Menu. Now I wanted to make some modifications to this and I went ahead and made the modifications again for time. Now a lot of this code was already there but I added this code here. I know that the model for the menu contains the menu items. It also contains the menu groups. Okay, I'm just going to deal with the menu items for right now. So what I would like to do is display the item description and cost in a table. Okay. So I create this table that has that. So what I'm going to do is I create a table, HTML, simple stuff. The headers, item description, and cost. And then I write a little bit of code using Razor, using a simple for each, for each item in the menu items. That simple. And then I'm going to create the three table cells. One will display the title, one will display the description, and one will display the cost. Now this is HTML and obviously I can do some customizations with this HTML. I can add styles and all the other stuff. That is something that, well, I mean, if you don't already know how to do it, it's something that's relatively easy to learn. But I think everybody that's taking the class where you learn this has already had a class that you learn all the HTML and CSS. So I can really customize this however I want. But if you note, know, what I've done is I knew that the menu model contain the menu items in the menu groups because I put them in there and that was actually documented in the previous lecture. I know that the controller will respond with a view based on, and I'm going to go right back to that control, the menu menus controller, that that will respond to um, with uh, the action result methods that are in there are things that can be responded to. So view menu is one of those. And then I wrote some cut and then I created a view by copying the details view to view menu to one named view menu and I added a table that will contain the menu. Now let's go in, let's go ahead and run this. Okay. I'm going to do one thing first when I'm running this because I don't have a lot of menu items in here. So let's just create a couple of menu items that um, will be um, good menu items to be able to display. So um, first thing I'm going to do here 
And um, oops, I got to bring this over for you. Let's bring this over so you can actually see it. Now it's actually starting to, to, to run. It's going to take a second because it's compiling it. Um, but um, the first thing I'm going to do is, well, I'll bring up the menus index. If you look, um, the index is the default, so it came up anyway. So here's my menus index. And um, I don't actually need to create uh, a men another menu, but I do need is I need to create some new menu items. I also demonstrated this in the last lecture, so here's the index for menu items um, should pop up. So um, there they go, some menu items, got some information here. I'm going to create some new ones. Um, the last one that I created was the deluxe. This will be the standard cheeseburger. And um, another great option. And it will cost $6.00. Okay, I don't want to put any more information in that one, so I'm going to create that one. Oh, um, this one's required, so there's one. Create. And I'm going to create one more, which will be the bargain cheeseburger. For those not as hungry, and I'm going to have, there's a, one item I made that required, and the cost of this one will be $5. So I'm going to create that one. Now, I've got three items in my menu. I should be able to go to, now, if you look at my URL here, I should be able to go to Menu, um, View Menu, and the menu that I'm going to be viewing, um, because View Menu is going to have to require an ID of a menu. I know that the ID of my menu was 1, so I will go ahead and put 1. Oops, and I got, uh, whoops, let's see, uh, menu, whoops, menus, got to put the right spelling in there. And now, if you look at this, I've got, here's the title of the menu, the description of the menu, and here's the items, deluxe, standard, and bargain cheeseburgers. Um, yeah, it's not pretty formatting. You know what? That's not a big deal because everybody in, that is doing this should be capable of throwing a little bit of styling on this and a little bit of fun, but really understanding how that code was able to return all this stuff over and display it on the web page, very simple. Also understanding how the URLs work, okay, the menus being the object, the view menu being the action that you're doing, and one being the index of the object that you're, do, that you're actually sending over, and voila, a beautiful, if not so beautiful, menu, but hey, it all works. This gets you through a little bit of customizing and being able to display custom views with just a simple bit of razor and a simple bit of understanding how the MVC works. This is hopefully going to get you started on creating your own custom views. Thank you very much and good programming.